Hello everyone and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading for all signs. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So the cat's jumped on the table. She realised that she could do that yesterday and she's just not moving. So <laughs> let's see what we have for the day. As always, it won't be for everyone. Take what resonates with you. Well, what do we have for the day, please? Angel Spirits Guides. We have the Three of Swords. Knight of Wands. The Fool. Four of Cups. The Devil. Nine of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Swords. And the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. You know, the energy that I'm getting, you're focusing on what brings you stability and security, but it feels more like relationships. Because the, the Three of Swords can be when we are hurt. Sometimes it can be deeply hurt by someone's actions. Someone's caused us emotional pain, but there's truth in that. We see the truth, we learn lessons, we get knowledge, we get information from that. So it's about seeing the truth in the lessons that you've learnt and recognising when we want to open ourselves up to being vulnerable to somebody and when we don't, likely because of past experience with a person. Uh, so whatever this Three of Swords is, you've learnt lessons from it and this feels like an energy here of where you're using that knowledge to guide your choices because it can be linked with breakups, painful truths, that something's not working for you or you're not prepared to open up to a person again because you might have been hurt before. It looks like that. The Knight of Wands um, and the Devil. The Devil can represent negative cycles of behaviour. It can, but it's very enticing, it's very alluring. And likely this person that may have caused you pain uh, is coming back into your life, most definitely. There is temptation here because they're exciting. There's passion, there's chemistry, there's attraction with the Knight of Wands, male or female, hello, baby girl, um, with, the with the Knight of Wands. But, you know, we also have the truth of that as well with this person, someone who's in and out of our life, um, can be very addictive as well. This can be addiction in terms of love, um, attraction, you know, but knowing it's not for our highest good. And I feel this is the energy here of they're not reliable. They've let you down before. They've caused hurt. They've been in and out of a relationship. You never know where you stand with them. This is the energy here, male or female, like I said, with the Knight of Wands, because they're driven by passion. They move in the direction of where they want to go. And they don't really care about what effect their actions might have on somebody else because they're a knight. They're not a king or a queen. So we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Fool. The Fool can actually be about liberating from the situation, standing on your own two feet in your own self-worth because you deserve more. This is a card of not being, these are cards of not being afraid to be independent. And go in search of happiness, joy, fulfillment that brings you that sense of stability, that gives you your self-worth, that recognizes what you deserve and nothing less than that. This is the energy here. If you are on your own at the time and this person is re-entering your life, it might well be they're coming back onto the scene because you're living your best life, you're attracting uh, love into your life, and they, they don't like it. They want to kind of like come in and mess things up again. 
So this could be the energy here of they might be asking you to take a chance on them again. But again, the fool can be, would be, would I be foolish to do that? Because this is what I deserve and nothing less than that. So depending on whether you're on your own at the moment, and this person might see that you're getting attention and wants to re-enter your life as part of that process. Could be through some kind of jealousy. Similarly, it could be a, cho a choice to be on your own. So however this manifests for you, because it feels ultimately that's where you're going to come down on anyway. Because the Four of Cups and the Eight of Swords, you're being offered, this is the tempting offer, the Four of Cups, and it's pulling at your heartstrings. Uh, overtures of love, peace offerings, heartfelt um, requests, you know, all of this kind of thing. But again, the Four of Cups is somebody who is not saying yes or no, likely because you've had an experience with this person before. This feels a reluctance here with the Eight of Swords to take what you're offered from this person because you've been here before. Because your intuition is telling you that even though the offer might be attractive and tempting, the Eight of Swords is the knowledge of what I have learnt with this person is keeping me stuck. So while the heart might well be considering it a little bit, there may well be temptation in that respect. The mind is kicking in and saying, actually, I remember what I've experienced before with this person. I know what the history is with this person. I know how I've been treated before and I know what I'm looking for and what I'm not looking for here. Yeah, the Four of Swords, and because the Four of Swords is about taking a step back and re-evaluating, the, the Four of Swords can be when we take a step back and we sometimes uh, allow ourselves to get perspective and see the truth of a situation here. The Ten of Pentacles is representing that you want long-term stability. You're looking for somebody who brings you self-worth, reliability, someone who you can build a life with, somebody who is in it for the long term, long term commitment, security, stability and emotional stability that goes with that. Um, and recognising by re-evaluating your situation now that this person is not it. This is holding out, likely for something that will bring you greater fulfillment happiness through being able being open to build something with you rather than just being in out for a kind of quick <clears throat> you know quick flash in the pan kind of thing you know somebody who's just not reliable messes you around you never know where you stand never does what they say they're going to do and that causes hurt it feels this is an energy here of of You've learnt some. You've learnt through some kind of painful truth that something's not working for you. This is a card of breakups. But it feels like it's empowering for you. So let's see what we have as a final message. She. <laughs> You know, she's looking at me as if to say, I'm trying to sleep here, do you mind? <laughs> okay, let's see what we have as a final message. I know, I know little one, but you know, we've got to do our work. <clears throat> yeah, wisdom. Making a wise choice. Tree wisdom. Wisdom comes from experience. This tree dryad will help you navigate through your current situation. Her flute can reveal insights and answers through the sounds it makes. All right, that's what I have for the day. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful day. I will see you next time.